I absolutely love teaching about colour. We've got the primary colours of light, which are red, green and blue. And basically, if you have red and green, they make yellow. If you have red and blue, that makes magenta. And if you've got green and blue, that makes cyan. But if you combine red, green and blue, we get white. Or actually, if you had cyan, magenta and yellow, because all of these are made out of red, green and blue, then we'd also get white light as well. Um, this one over here, uh, can you make white light with a yellow light source and a blue light source? This is different to mixing paint. Yellow paint and blue paint make green paint, but yellow light is made out of red and green, and then we add that to the blue, and that means we've now got the three primary colours of light, so again, we can get white light. But a tree appears green, again, ignore biology, that's, it's not as good as physics. Basically, with um, a tree, it appears green because those leaves, they reflect the green light, and they absorb all of the other colours of light. If you look at a tree through a green filter, it appears green, or the green bits appear green because that green light can get through that green filter. But if you look at it through a red filter, that red filter stops the green light getting through, no light gets through, and therefore it appears black. If you have a red filter, at some point, go outside, have a look at some trees, and see how much darker they appear through that red filter. We then had um, an Italian flag, so green, white, and red. Um, when you look through a red filter, then what happens is it lets the red light through, through, it lets the red light in the white light through, so that appears red, but the green light is absorbed, so it appears black. When you look at it through a green filter, this is what happens. The, we've got green, green and black, and through a blue filter, the blue filter absorbs both the green and the red light, so they appear black, and it lets the blue part of the white light through. And again, looking at surfaces, a white surface would reflect all the colours of light. So we see white light um, being reflected here. A blue surface will absorb all of the colours of light, apart from blue, which is reflected, and a black surface absorbs all the, all the colours of light, and therefore no colours are reflected. So that one there, just a few nice questions looking at colour for GCSE physics.